Hello and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking. This is a solo episode. I'm Gary Korb, your host, executive editor at CigarAdvisor.com. And, ooh, what am I holding here? Yes, it is the A.J. Fernandez Diaz de Gloria. This is the Robusto. Beautiful looking, right? Nice presentation. So let's find out a little bit about the cigar. It was released about one year ago. And this is all about... A.J. Fernandez wanted to pay homage to the glory days of Cuban tobacco. Dias de Glory means days of glory. And this means probably the days before the revolution. And this is also not the first time that A.J. has paid homage to his first country. Several of his cigars pay tribute in one way or another to Cuba, which he obviously misses. And, um, but he's unable to use Cuban tobacco for this blend. So what he did was he used tobacco from four of his oldest farms in Esteli. There's the Finca Los Cedros, La Providencia number one, La Lilia, and La Soldad. But it's not just the farms that are old. Some of these tobaccos in the blend have been aged as long as seven years. Now, according to AJ, this project has been in the works for a long time. Now, he says, I've been setting aside tobacco from each farm and aging it for years for this blend. I want everyone to enjoy it like the glory days of Cuba. Now, actually, Dios de Gloria made a brief appearance at retail in early 2017, but AJ took it off the market, saying he wanted to focus on other brands in his portfolio at the time. So after reprising its debut at last summer's industry trade show in Las Vegas, Dios de Gloria is back in all its lovely Nicaraguan glory. <laughs> Dios de Gloria comes in four sizes. In addition to this 5.5 by 52 Robusto, there's also a short Churchill, a Toro, and a Gordo. So let's get to it right now. This cigar, as I just said, is the Dias de Gloria Robusto from A.J. Fernandez, and the filler and binder all came from these estate farms that A.J. has in Esteli, and the wrapper is also Nicaraguan, making it a puro to Nicaraguan Habano, also grown in Esteli. So there you have it. Now let's take a look at this thing. It is really, really nice looking so far. I like the cedar sleeve. It's a nice, attractive red band on it. And I'm just going to take off that nice cedar sleeve. You know, some cigars, if they have a long enough cedar sleeve, you can actually use this to light your cigar. And the cigar is pretty well packed, really nicely done. I don't feel any soft spots at all. The cap looks like it is a beautifully done triple cap. It's really seamless. The rolling is pretty seamless too. And the wrapper is nice and smooth. Not too many, I don't see many flaws in it at all. Little, little, you know, some veins you can see, but they're not protruding or anything. So let's cut this baby. Ooh. Let's see, first of all, before we cut it, Mm, kind of getting a very uh, kind of a leathery note off of there, leathery, woody kind of a note. Going to clip it, and wow, that just clipped perfectly. That was really nice. So here I am by myself. Oh wow, that draw is really good. All right. There's always a little, you know, remnant, I guess, in your tongue, and you know, I'm not really crazy about that. I've got my coffee. That's still good. I uh, even have some Woodford Reserve bourbon. I'm going to give that a try later on. And I have a book. So you say, Gary, what do you do when you're smoking by yourself? Well, sometimes I play poker on my phone, but I also like reading and reading this book that one of my boys left behind when he went to uh, college. So I said, I'm going to read it. No. <laughs> anyway, And let's light it up. Now, it's hard to see because I'm in my garage. 
and there's so much light coming in from outside it's hard to see the flame so I'm trying to be really careful with this don't want to kill it this is a really really beautiful cigar and it's really well made Ooh, I'm getting some nice sweetness interesting Okay. I think we got it lit pretty good. Yeah. All right. So the first things I'm noticing. So when I first lit it up, I got like a little, you know, blast of sweetness. But once I fully lit it, whew, um, getting a lot of pepper right now. But that's not uncommon in, in a lot of AJ cigars. And this is supposed to reflect the, I don't know, the flavor of great Cuban cigars before the revolution. I mean, I haven't really smoked any of those. I, I really haven't smoked that many Cubans over the years, believe it or not. But um, so far, it's smoothing out a little bit, pretty quickly too. Take a look at that. I really haven't gone very far. And... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, a lot of dense smoke too. We're really whew, coming right through. So let's see what happens when I get down into the first stack a little bit. All right, we're down into the first act. And I gotta tell you, this is really nice. It's spicy. It's a spicy cigar, and which is kind of characteristic of a lot of stuff AJ does. And let's, let's try to keep in mind this cigar. Yeah, this is his tribute to Cuban tobacco pre-revolution. At least he's trying to capture the character, the flavor, the essence, the ambiance, whatever you want to call it, of the old Cuban cigars. So like I said before, I never really had any old Cuban cigars, but like a good AJ Fernandez cigar, it's burning really, really nicely. The smoke is very, very voluminous, getting a lot of smoke, and You can see that, see that, look at all that. And the flavor has just started to round off. It's been kind of peppery, getting a lot of earth, a lot of wood, very typical Nicaraguan tobacco, very earthy, very woody, and of course very spicy, with just a little bit of pepper on the finish there. And I'm really looking forward to see how this is gonna be with that bourbon. I think it might add a little sweetness to it, but who knows, we never know what's gonna happen. I'm really liking it with this coffee here. Out of some cream and sugar in the coffee, just just a little bit, and ooh yeah, retro hail, definitely got some spice in there, very peppery, but it wasn't like killer pepper. It was pretty pretty smooth considering that this is a basically a, a peppery cigar. You know, it's funny. You know, he's calling this you know, kind of a tribute to Cuba, but I think it's really more of a tribute to Nicaragua because this is about as Nicaraguan as it gets. And again, the tobacco has been aged anywhere up to seven years. You know, he was planning, he was so into doing this and making this a very special cigar. He took it off the market, you know, so um, I think that's kind of uh, interesting. I don't know too many guys that would do that, you know, but let's take a look. I don't know how well in focus this is. I don't really have a very good camera. But you have a really nice looking band here. Um, it has A.J. Fernandez here on the band and has a beautiful, you know, that kind of neoclassical Cuban art that he likes to use sometimes. And it's all embossed in gold and red. It's really, really nice. And I think that's part of the experience of smoking a cigar sometimes is that somebody's just admiring, you know, the little things about it. Oh, look at this. I just noticed that here's some metals, some little metals on, along the side here. And little medallions. It's really amazing, you know, what goes into some of these bands. They're very, very elaborate. So let's see how our cigar's doing here. Let's go. Well, 
Well, it has rounded out nicely. It's not as peppery now. And I am getting some sweetness off the tip here too. So, so there's some sweet tobacco going on here. You know, it's supposed to be all Esteli, which tends to be the stronger tobacco grown in Nicaragua. Even the mid-priming stuff, you know, has some kick to it. So, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read my book a little bit. I'm gonna come back and see how it is in act two. And maybe we'll try a little bourbon with it. Alrighty then, here we are in act two. Just before that secondary band with AJ's name on it. Let's take that off right now. We don't want any accidents. We don't want any fires. We don't want any of that. And we'll just put that right there. Now, as I said, I brought along some of this Woodford Reserve. Woodford Reserve. There it is. Oh, this was made for Famous Smoke Shop. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. This is, a, this is good stuff. This is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And I don't know if you've been watching any of these episodes enough to know that I'm really not a big bourbon guy. I never, oh, I wasn't until now. <laughs> so I have been drinking more bourbon lately. And I can see why a lot of cigar smokers like bourbon with cigar. There's this certain character to it that kind of brings out a lot of the flavors in the, in the tobacco. And I, I like rum a lot too. And let's see how it is. Well, I got to tell you, the cigar has really smoothed out nicely and I'm getting much more sweetness than I am spice. So it has changed up a little bit. That's a nice little thing there. And the smoke volume is still really good. The draw is great. I don't know what more to say except let's see how it goes. So, salute. <laughs> That's nice. Let's see. Well, it does seem to bring out a little bit of the sweetness. Now, this is not a very sweet bourbon. This is a little more, I guess, you know, on the woody side or barrel barrel age side, I guess you would call it, but it has some nice legs. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it just kind of sticks to the rim of the glass nicely. So let's put a little smoke in first. Blow the smoke right to the glass. Oh yeah, it's really nice, really nice. Okay, so I think we have a pairing with the bourbon and this cigar is just going along great really good and it's burning beautifully really nice job this cigar came out a year ago I don't know how I missed it but this is actually the first time I'm smoking it and very nice. This is really, I would say, I'm smoking this in the afternoon. It's kind of breezy. It's really sunny out today. I got a beautiful day today. And I would say this is probably more of an after dinner kind of a smoke. I guess, you know, late in the day is fine too. But this is a very elegant cigar. I think you could really enjoy this with, like I said, a bourbon, even a single malt would do very well with this. And uh, I'm just really impressed with this right now. Let's, let's, let's see what what happens with the retro hail, which I really don't do very often, but let's see. Well, I'm not getting any pepper in that. I definitely got more like of a woody note in there. So not bad. All right, let's see what happens when I get down into act tres. All right, here we are in act three. Yes, we are getting down to it. I'm almost down to that first band. And look how beautiful this cigar is burning. It's really, really nice. And as you can see, the sun is starting to sneak in on me on the side here. And I'll tell you, this is really delicious. So what I think I'm going to do is one last gulp of this. 
mm, that's really nice. It is, it is a little bit sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness in there, but I think it's time to take the main band off. I would say, if you're going to ask me, who's the cigar for? Right? I always ask that, right? This cigar would probably be for someone who's got a little bit of experience on them. I don't think this is really for a new cigar smoker. I think it might be a little too heavy for them, and even if it's not too heavy, maybe it's a little too complex, or maybe it's a little too spicy. I don't know. I don't really find it that peppery, which I like. I like it a little more on the sweet side, and it's been really smooth. Really nice and smooth. Really, really delicious. And this is just rounded out beautifully. It's still, you know, very earthy in a lot of ways, very woody. It's, I mean, I guess, I guess it is complex to a point. I'm finding that I'm really getting a pretty much consistent amount of flavor from, say, like spice, wood, maybe a little leather in there. I'm not really getting any coffee taste or anything, which is also kind of common with some of these cigars. And getting a little bit of that, that sweetness. So I'm really enjoying this. and. I'm going to just give it a couple more puffs, maybe have a little bit more coffee here, and then we'll wrap it up. I'm very impressed with the cigar. I think you guys who really love Nicaraguan blends, especially A.J. Fernandez cigars, are really going to like this cigar a lot. If you haven't had it already, like I said, it's been out for about a year, and I'm just really, really digging this cigar, especially it was great with the bourbon, it's good with the coffee. Really, it's a no-miss cigar. Wow, look at that smoke volume. It's just pouring out of this thing. And I'm really, really loving it. Remember that A.J. Fernandez Diaz de Gloria cigars are available at famous-smoke.com. And while you're there, sign up for their free cigar catalog. There's some great buys in there. You don't want to miss them. And for more cigar smoking advice and information, visit us at cigaradvisor.com and sign up for our email list. You can also follow Cigar Advisor at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and if you like the cigar or you just like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell for notifications when one of our fascinating new videos is posted. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hashtag now smoking. See you next time and happy smokes.